Generic greetings and welcome to Blood Bowl Chaos Edition once again. This is episode 5 and in the previous episode we lost. Um, don't think... No, I can't sugarcoat that. I was trying to sort of just break it to you gently but we lost basically. We lost the league that we were in. We only had four matches and we lost so... Yeah, that was the end of that. I did ask, do you want to continue on? And for the few people that actually commented, uh, commented, they actually said, yes, you should probably continue on because you seem to be playing them all right, but just had a bit of bad luck. And I agree with that. We, we also versed some of the hardest teams in the game. So, yeah, I thought that was just a bit of bad luck and we should continue on. And that's what a lot of people said. Actually, that's what a few people said because not, not, not a lot of people watch this series, but that's okay. Just understand that if you're watching this now, you're one of the very few that actually watch it. You're a special breed. <laughs> I don't mean that in like a weird sort of race thing. I don't know about your breeding or anything like that or whether you've got like, you know, five arms from... Mars or something. Anyway, so let's just jump straight in. We're going to go to prepare match and my team rating is 1,240. Theirs is 1,300. I'm not going to bring any money from the bank. I'm versing the Amazons. Okay, this should be an interesting one. I'm going to go to, what can I get for 500? I think I can get maybe a Bloodwiser babe. Yeah, which is plus one modifier uh, from being knocked out. Hang on, is that right? The combination of ale and young lady serving means they've reached each purchase of the inducement, players on the team gain plus one modifier to recover from knocked out for the match. So yeah, if I get one knocked out, they might get back up a bit. We'll just accept that inducement and we'll jump in. So, Amazons. They are a bit of a mixed bag. They are pretty much humans in almost all senses. I think their armor is a little bit less, but they all have dodges standard, which makes them very, very tough. And you, you might think, tough? No, no, that doesn't make sense. But it does, because every time you roll a hit against them, the one that says Defender Stumbles, which is the, the yellow dice with the exclamation mark in it, it doesn't knock them over. There's only a 1 in 6 chance to knock these over. And we're on the Norse pitch again. I hate this pitch. I'm sick of the sight of this thing. Although, it might be to my advantage, because we are versing the Amazons, and that means that they will be called because they're only wearing, well, Amazon clothing. We're going to pick heads and looks like we've not got the result that we wanted. We've actually been, we're now going to be, um, we're going to be receiving. Oh no, we're kicking off, we're kicking off. That's okay, I guess. Right, let's get a couple of our, let's get Ivan on the front line here. We should always have Ivan. What else? Is any of these over there that we don't want? These are the ones on the bench, you see, on the right-hand side. Right, I think that will do us quite nicely. I'm going to move um, him over here. I'm going to put our Karstein, Von Karstein, on the left there. And Rex Youngblood... Where should we put people? I think I want the most experienced players in the center, which is about right. There we go. I'm just going to save this as generic setup. There we go. That's our setup. Yes, I'll overwrite that. And we'll accept this and have a good game, hopefully. So... Let's kick it off and see what happens. But yes, the, the Amazon team can run and actually hit you. So we'll see what happens here. It's going to be very hard for me to really knock them out. And that's a perfect result. Perfect landing for the ball. It's right over the back there. And as you can see, now they're just going to start running around. And obviously they've got, all got dodge. If you click on every single one of them, they've got dodge. Which means they can re-roll going through people's tackle zones. And they can also, when they, when they get defender stumbles, they just get pushed back. And they fail to pick up the ball. And they used a re-roll and failed as well. Excellent start for me there. Right, so I want to get rid of the catcher there. But first things first, let's get a Thrall up to there. And then we'll get Rex Youngblood to come in and give her a bit of a blitz. There we go. And we will hit it. And there you go. We, they've got dodge. I've rolled defender stumbles and push. So if I go for stumbles there, and we will only just push them back like that, sadly. Ah, oh, well. Right, let's get our vampire in the mix, or shall we? Let's get a thrall in the mix there. Then we'll get a vampire right in there. And I'm just going to crowd them about now. And we'll put some people around here. We'll move the vampires like so, and I want to make them either run right through my tackle zones or run round, so that's why I'm doing that. Then let's get a couple of cheeky hits at the front here. So, what I want to do is get... I really need to strengthen my line at the front here. That's a bloodlust. I am not going to re-roll it because I'm just going to go there and um, bite that thrall next to me. So, we'll end the action and bite that thrall there. And we did knock him out, which is a first. Um, we will move the other thrall to there. We're not going to... No, we'll put him right up there. We'll just we'll just crowd it right up. Right, so cheeky one dice blocks. And there's a pushback. We'll push him to there. And we will not follow it up. And then we're probably going to get some two dices here, which is very good. Again, 
the results that I'm getting are not that great because I can't actually take them down. I need that there. I need defenders down to actually do anything. I'm not going to follow up. Bash, bash, and they face up. Looks like they're going to dodge straight past me and keep running, as you can see. So that's their catcher there. They have dodge, catch, which means they can uh, re-roll the pickup, and they have nerves of steel, so it ignores and modifies for enemy tackle zones, which means, you know, if I if they try to catch... Is it trying to catch the ball? Uh, yeah, pass, catch, or intercept. So, yeah, not good for that one. Looks like they're just dodging around here. Dodging, dodging, dodging. Oh, it looks like they've used a re-roll there as well, by the look of it. And their dodge has failed. Eventually, it's not going to... Uh, work for them. So there we go. It looks like they knocked one of our vampires down, which is not good. Let us just get a couple of thralls at the back here. What I want to do is just make sure that we have got a crowd on these, and then what I'm going to do is just start running right up with a couple of thralls, because I want to crowd the ball carrier in such a way that they have to go either all the way around to fling the ball, or they have to uh, run through me, or if they try and fling it through me, obviously I'm going to be there to hopefully catch it. So let's get this vampire hitting here, and not a bad result, defender pushed, I'll push them up to there, and I will follow it up, I want to start me really crowding them here. And then I've only got one blitz that I can see, oh, I've only got one blitz because that's as standard, so let's just blitz this catcher at the back here, I really want to take this catcher out, so it's going to be, again, Good result normally, but because they've got dodge, it's only going to be a stumble. So I'll push them to there, and then I will follow it up like so. Okay, so not great here. I could dodge to there. That would actually be better, but I am going to have to roll that if I do, so it's a bit too risky for my liking. Let's just get a vampire in here. Just again, to crowd them up, and they're going to have to gang up on me to do anything. And then that's two dice blocks, which I'm not a big fan of, so I'm going to try and dodge out the tackle zone. I failed it. I'll re-roll it, and I've passed. There we go. I actually will call it a day there. I've just moved them back once, so I'm still next to the vampire. That's what I wanted to do. I don't want to move out the vampire, because if I stand him up and he gets bloodlust, then I'd fail the dodge roll, he's going to go off. So I think where he is now is a, a decent place. So, as you can see, they're now moving the players around at the back, and they're probably going to try and knock a couple of people out back here, but I don't know how successful that'll be. They are dodging away. They've only got one reroll, which is good. There's another one. Here's the Blitz coming in against the Thrall. A lot of them hitting the Thrall, and that's a face down, so that's not overly good. And I don't know what they're going to do with the ball. They're going to run around here, and then are they going to try and fling it? No, they're just going to stand around. Excellent. Excellent. So I can Blitz them next turn, I think. Looks like they're trying to hit my Vampires, and they're successfully hitting the Vampires. Hmm... The problem is, uh, these guys at the back here are ready to catch the ball. Which I know some people have been saying I should probably do, but the problem with that is that thralls are just generally aren't that good. Uh, right, so we'll get a thrall in the mix here, and we're only putting them there just to grab onto the ball to see what happens. Then we'll stand, well actually we won't stand anything, we'll just do a bit of a blitz here. Two dice, here we go, and I need a good result. That is not the result I wanted, they have block and I only have dodge, so I'm going to have to re-roll that because I'll go down. We'll have to pick a defender stumbles and it'll push him to there, but I am not going to follow it up because I want to dodge out the way to there and stand next to her. There we go. Right, my other thrall can go around and I want them to go like that and this is going to be a go for it roll and I've already used a re-roll so it's a bit risky. It's worked out though, we're okay there. And then I'm going to stand up. I'm not going to stand anyone up actually, or do I? Do I? Let's, let's do some cheeky two dices here and that's not worked out. It's only a pushback so I'll push them to there and I'll follow it up and then I can use the vampire to hit them as well, which is only another pushback again, but it's still working out. We're pushing them towards this edge here. If I had one more blitz, I'd be able to get in there. I'm just going to run my thrall right up the back, and again, crowd this blitzer here, just because it puts pressure on them. This person is doing my head in here, because I've obviously got several players sort of tied up, because I need to dodge out if anything goes wrong. Uh, vampire here, I'll go for a hit, and it's only a pushback. I'll push it to there, and I will not follow them up, because I don't want to stand next to them. I'll stand my vampire up here as well. Then what I'm going to do is jump this thrall out. I'm going to stand them up and then move them out the way, but I don't know how successful that'll be. We'll stand them up, and then we'll try and dodge them out of the way. So we'll try and dodge, and it's worked out, and then we want to go to there, and then I want to move a little bit further to there, and then finally over to my vampire there. That's a lot of go for it, but I've passed them all. We'll end the turn there. Turn four for them, turn three for me. Not bad. Let's have a sip of beverage. <sighs> There's beverages, water. 
bland. So anyway, I'm trying to reduce their, uh, their, their, their bashing ability because I don't want to really get next to them. Excellent, that's what happened. Perfect, perfect, perfect. They try to dodge out my tackle zone. They fail the dodge and the ball's now on the ground. Perfect result. So let's stand the thrall. Are we really in... I think we're in with a chance here. Let us get these out down and out. Push them forward. Push them to there. Not follow it up. And then another one here. Push that person to there and not follow it up. There we go. And we want our vampire, Von Karstein vampire, to come in. Two plus to pick it up. Pretty simple here. There we go. And then we're going to run off to there. Around the outside. And then we're going to start and make a bit of a cage up. So we'll follow that up there. Then we want to move our vampire to there. And we haven't failed our bloodlust. This is where I get a failed bloodlust and it all goes terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. I've got a thrall back there, which is only on a one dicer. Let's see if I can push this person off. And uh, worst result in the world. Reroll that. And good result. Defender down. And we're not going to follow up. Bam! We hit them and they go off the pitch anyway. And as you can see, the crowd is beating them up. So they're now two players down. They're two, they've got two players off the pitch. So they've got nine players left. Let's just run this thrall up to there. And again, just crowd the plate. That's all we need to do. Then I need to move the other vampire up to there. I've filled the bloodless, which is not good. So I'll put it on one corner of the cage here. And then we will end the action and then bite the thrall next to me there. Which has knocked him out. Not great, but you know, these things happen. And then what I want to do is... I'm just going to do some cheeky one dices. Because I don't really care what happens to these thralls. Although I've just managed to red dice myself. And I'm face down for a couple of turns. Oh, well, not good. However, they've, they've got no rerolls left. And I've got one, which is always good. So, hopefully I can get this in the box at the back. Not when they do that. So far, I haven't been really able to knock them down. The Amazon's weakness is really their lack of armor. As you can see, most of them are armor 7s, okay? But, but they have dodge, which protects them. If you have tackle, it negates dodge, which is always a good thing. Looks like they're hitting my vampire, and they've only managed to push them back. Excellent, and then they're dodging around there. So, yes. Um, if they've got tackle, then you can sort of... Negate, you negate it and also if you just generally hit them in the face with a uh, if you've got block you can then block yourself and then that works out right so we need to get rid of these here so I'm going to move my thrall around to about there just to get the thralls in and around the mix here and then we're going to move another one in to I really like to put them there but that's a couple of go for it's I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to risk it because I need some. I need some thralls around this carrier, and we have passed them both, which is fantastic. Right. Let's not do anything particularly risky. Let's hit this person here, and it's not the result that I wanted, but it's the result that I will take, and I'll push that guy further towards the line. That's what I wanted. Further towards the line, and then this vampire to hit that one there. There's a. There's a bloodlust. And I'm not going to re-roll it. I'm not going to take another action because hopefully, excellent, defender down. I'm going to pick that thrall there, which will push him to there. And then I will follow up because then I will be in base contact with another thrall. Eat that thrall there. Everything's golden, right? I have actually badly hurt him, though, but that's not good. Knocked another one of theirs out, which is fantastic. Right. Let's move our other vampire up to here. And then we'll do a cheeky two-dicer. And then we will just, again, just push them back. I'm just trying to push them towards the crowd. And now all we need to do is get in. So no bloodlust and all we need is one go for it and it's a touchdown. Okay, 1-0. Things are looking up. So, 1-0 in... Was that almost before half time? Looks like I've got my knocked out thrall back. Let's see what they've got back. They have not got anyone back, but they do have a lot of spare linemen there anyway, so it's not too bad. So, I've already got generic setup going there. I'm kicking off. I will accept that. And then we'll boot the ball. So it is turn 6 of 16. So not bad at all. Ball goes off there. Blitz so the defense can do some... Well, I basically get a free bonus turn, which is always good. So I'm going to get... Where is he? There's Von Karst down to the left. We're going to go in there and we're going to blitz the hell out of them. But actually, what I'm going to do first... I'm going to do the non-risky stuff first, which is move everything up like so. You generally want to move... Actually, I'm going to keep going further forward here. Generally you want to do all of the risky stuff, uh, the non-risky stuff first. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna crowd this side, but I'm gonna do a blitz here, so it's that. And I've failed the bloodlust. I'm not gonna re-roll it. There we go, because I 
put the Thrall there for that reason. It's about managing the Bloodlust with this team. I'm going to push him to there and then not follow it up. And then obviously we're going to just uh, end that action and then eat the Thrall next to me. Om nom 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 nom. Knocked out. Great. Right, we'll put a Vampire next to him then. And just to cover that. Just to cover that. We'll actually just put them... Yeah, we'll follow it up. We'll go up to there. There we go. And we've got a couple more Vampires. So we're just going to put one behind the Thrall. There's another Bloodlust. Again, I'm not going to re-roll it. I'm really keeping my re-rolls for other things. And then we'll end the action. Eat that Thrall in front of me. Om nom nom. And it's Sonya face down. And then we will move further up. And really push it like so to see what happens and there we go we'll end the action excellent so balls landed right at the back perfect result and let's see what they do so they're obviously going to try and knock my vampires out but being being strength four and they're only strength three standard it's a little bit problematic so We'll see what they can do. We're going to pick up the ball here. They fail to pick it up, and it's bounced around. Perfect. They don't have any re-rolls. Excellent, excellent, excellent. It is my turn six. I don't think I can get a... I don't think I can get this in the... In the in the box yet, so... We'll see what happens. I'll just do my best to beat these guys to a pulp at the front. Um, here. And again, it's all... It's all, like, sort of crappy pushbacks and such, so... Mm, yeah, see, it's all, they've all got dodges and such, which is something I can't do anything about. So it's just... Ah, oh, there we go. Defender down. That's good. We'll follow them up to there. Actually, we won't follow them up. We'll just push them. Right. So. Start knocking these about the place. Dodge. We'll pull, follow, push them up to there. Then we'll follow it up. And then we'll knock them again. And it'll just be a pushback. And we'll just do that and not follow it up. And then we'll be a thrall. Which is just a pushback. Up to there. Not follow it up. There we go. Obviously, I want to get outside their tackle zones, really. Let's get a bit of a blitz in this corner, but we'll push them. Uh, we'll go to there and then we'll follow it up here. And it's a bad roll. Let's re-roll it. Good result after the re-roll, though. And doom, face down as well. Excellent. Right, let's get our other vampire. And uh, problematic, I haven't got a re-roll, so let's... Can I go there? There's the bloodlust. That's what I thought was going to happen. So I'm just going to move him over to here. And then we will end the action. And then nosh on this thrall on the floor. Which will probably knock him out or badly hurt. Knocked out. Yeah. There we go. I've been taking my own thralls out. Left, right and centre. Looks like they're trying to dodge past me. Successfully done it as well. I can't get that far though. And obviously they have to pick this ball up. Which they've managed to do. That is their thrower. So they're going to be, well, throwing the ball as you may imagine. They've only got one more turn. This turn and one more to really get it. To really sink it in the back. And I don't know if they can do that or not. I don't think they have the movement to do it. But we'll see. We'll see. They are really crowding that ball, Smith Fierce, aren't they? Really crowding that ball. Okay, just keep moving. Keep moving. Looks like they're dodging right past me there. How many tackle zones? One, two, three, four tackle zones they just dodged through. Good grief. There you go. You can see how much their dodge really does help. Like, people may disagree that, you know, that dodge is not an aggressive skill. It's one of the most aggressive skills in the game. Right, that ball is relatively safe. Honestly, that is relatively safe. So what I need to do is move some thralls right up here to probably about there. Then I need to move one vampire to there. And that's still going to be a dodge to get out of it. Let's actually get a thrall in the mix here just to see what happens, just to... Crowd, crowd them around. Just crowd everything about, really. Crowd these around here. That's a vampire. That's a cheeky one dicer. It's just a pushback. We'll put it there, but that's good, though, because I want to get further in next to these vampires. Yeah, anything I do, there's going to be two dicers. So what I want to do is go around there. Uh, I don't actually want to blitz them, though. I'll just go around, like so. And then I want to use a hypnotic gaze on them, which has not worked. It has not worked at all. So we're just going to have to do a standard blitz. Here we go. Two dice. Oh, both down. I guess we'll pick that then, because I don't really have an option. <laughs> and then that person's got it. The hypnotic gaze failed, but it didn't really matter because of all the uh, people stopping them, uh, assisting that that block. So it didn't actually it didn't actually work out that badly, to be honest. Would have been better if the hypnotic gaze was there, but uh, still, looks like we've st still got the ball. It's the only this, they can only sink it this turn. They can't, if they can't get it in there now, well then that's pretty much it for them. I don't think they can get it in here, even with that guy on a go for it. Nah, they're not fast enough. They're not fast enough. When I versed the elves in the last. Uh, episode before last, obviously they were so fast that they could do a one or two turn drive and that was just unbelievable. But these Amazons are just human sort of speed, movement six. I think they have a couple of movement sevens, one their catches might be. Let's have a quick look. Catcher, yeah. No, 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 catcher, movement six. They're all just movement six as standard. Anyway. 
Let's see what happens. We need a bit of luck. We need to really start injuring them. I don't think I've really caused any serious injuries so far. Or rather, I have. I've got some badly hurt, but I've mainly caused them to myself from um, going om nom nom, thank you, thrall. And that's really where it comes from. Right, my turn here, my one and only, or my last turn of this drive. I can't, I technically can get the ball in, but it's going to be a really horrible um, <laughs> way of doing it. Should we try it? We might as well. So we'll stand all these thralls up here. And then is that going to be a, a one dice? Yeah, it is. Tell you what, we'll tell you what, we'll start knocking some of these out, which it's not going to be knocked out. It's just going to be pushing them back, so you understand. Um, stand that thrall up. And then can we... Still only one dice. It's still only one dice there. Let's do a... See, I'm hitting that person there, and then the ball might bounce, and then that vampire can get it and go. Let's just do nothing. Let's just do something that's hopefully going to work out. No, nope, let's just push him there. All right, should we try something very, very risky? Oh, no, might as well do a... Might as well do a cheeky one dice. It's only a push, and we'll follow it up. There we go. Then this vampire is going to do a two dice. Here we go. Let's see if it works out. No, it's only a pushback. Push him to there, though. And then the vampire at the back, here, can um, have a little hit. Why not? There's a bloodlust. Not going to re-roll it, because I can't. And it's just, yeah, again, it, there you've got dodge. I knock him out, push him back. Guess what? He's going to get sent off. That's a turnover. And then it doesn't matter, because that's half time anyway. There we go. Which means I'm going to get them back anyway. So there's my... As you can see, there's my cheerleaders. There are... Got snakes all around them. Ugh. Right. Don't mind snakes. Right, so, one of my thralls back. Good, good, good. One still knocked out. Three still on the bench. No problem at all. They have got one of their people back. One still knocked out. I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. Um, oh, I'm receiving the kickoff this time, am I? Right, receiving the kickoff is a different kettle of fish. Let's get our vampires up front here. Like so. And there, there we go. And then I want someone to grab the ball. Which is going to be... Uh, who should we get? Sartosa can pick the ball up. And we'll have you... Oop, that's wrong. I'll have you at the back there, just ready to, uh, you know, get ready, I guess, to be eaten. <laughs> that's exactly what it is, actually. Right, let's uh, move some more people up here. No point in messing around. We might as well just sort of crowd everything. And there we go. We'll accept that. Let's see if we have a good second half. So, 1-0 to me so far. So, they're on the back foot. And get the ref. Ah, so the ref's being got. What that means is, if the, if we have a problem with um, stomping on people, then uh, it's, he doesn't really see everything. Right, let's just start doing a bit of bashing here. Oh, perfect result. Defender down. Go there. We're not going to follow up. Bat. Good, good. We'll do another one here. And it's just going to be a little push here. But we'll push him there because we can then start knocking them out a bit. No, again, it's another push. And we will follow it up, though. I'm going to get this Thrall move next to me, the Vampire, just in case he bloodlusts. Didn't. And good result again. We can knock them right back here. There we go. Not really doing anything to them, though. We're just sort of, you know, pu pushing them around. Let's get that Thrall up and round to here. Just the ball again. Just crowd the ball a little bit. And then we're going to get my Vampire, Sartosa, running in. No bloodlust. And a successful pickup. Excellent. Not bad. We could go a little bit further, which we are, I think. Why not? And then what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a blitz somewhere, but there's nothing about here that's uh, it's only going to be a one dice. I'll do a cheeky one dice, why not? It hasn't worked out, just defender stumbles, but you know, push him there and then not follow it up. That's okay. And I think that's about it. I don't really want to do anything else. That's pretty much all the tackle zones covered there. Turn 9 of 16. Let's see what they can do. Hopefully this cold is... Um, Making them not play as well. <laughs> I wish that was uh, a thing. It can be when the weather changes. As you can see, it's nice bud low weather at the moment, so it can ch it can change though to something really nasty. They're just trying to punch my vampire out, but they're not managing to do it. They're just running around and the failed dodge. That's a very important one. That because that's a very open area there. So I'm going to get my thrall there, uh, my vampire there, which means my thrall is going to run up to there. Then my vampire is going to run right up to there. And here we go. Let's keep running. And then another thrall at the back can go to there, and we'll start making a rudimentary cage up. If I can sink this very early, then that'll be really good, and we will have to go for it to there, but I don't think I need to. I just need to, again, crowd this area so they don't get in the back. My weak spot is at the front, but it's only that person there, and then anyone that can man manage to dodge all the way around. So, let's start doing some cheeky 
knockings out. Uh, well, I don't think we'll knock anyone out, but we'll try. We'll try. That's only a push. We'll push it to there and we'll follow it up again, getting closer to my ball carrier there. This person's on one dice. This person... This is a vampire. Let's do a bit of a blitz at the front here. This is... Uh, Wild saw the handsome and good result. Defender down. We'll go there and we will follow it up and knocked out as well. Perfect. And as you can see, our tackle zone. There's tackle zone there and there. Uh, we there's actually a button to show tackle zone. I can't think what it is at the moment. But yes, tackle zone to get through there is going to be really really big. So that's good. All right, we're going to get another thrall up to. I think we'll get a vampire actually. Put them there and then this should be a cheeky two dice with a thrall. Worked out as well. Defender down and we'll follow it up. Bam, bam. And they go face down. Excellent. Two more thralls here. And all I'm going to do is basically crowd the area now. So they have to go through loads of tackle zones to actually get to me. Which is something I want. And which is the best way to get over there? I think we'll just go there really. Actually no, we'll go a little bit further. So these guys can't, they, these can't just run where they want. And we'll end the turn there. Excellent. Feeling good about this one. If they stop this drive now, they deserve to stop it. And it's well played. Oh, look. Um, by the bad on my part. Or good on theirs. But we'll see. So. <laughs> Can't see. Yeah. The, the, comment, the commentator said it already. Can't say much about, much about that. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Let's just move this ball up, shall we? All I'm going to do is move the ball up like so. And then, run the vampire up. There we go. Can't believe they knocked themselves out. Right, and then we'll get a cage at the back here. There we go. That's safe. That's, that's as safe as anything can be in Blood Bowl now. So what I'm going to do is just start punching them back here. Good result there. We'll push them back. And bang, knocked out. Excellent. Good, good, good. Let's do another one with a thrall. And it's only a pushback, but we'll push them back to there and then accept that always keep them in base contact with the vampire because obviously that uh, gives us a big advantage in terms of strength let's just run a vampire around that's a bloodlust failure i will re-roll it because i don't really want to i want to keep them exactly where they are and let's push them back there again just pushing people around now looks like we've got a bit of a problem here can i do a blitz that's going to only going to be a one dicer these can't even get to the ball carrier they're the only person that is really problematic, so I'm going to go there, and actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to try and keep these on the back foot. That's a bad result. Double red skull, and then I go down. Double red skull. I mean, it, it, there's only one red skull on the dice, as far as I'm aware, and uh, yeah, just not good. There might be two on there. I don't think there is. I think there's one red skull, two pushbacks, two. I don't know actually. I don't know. It's a six-sided dice, but I don't know what's on the dice. It might be two red skulls, two defender stumbles, one defender down, two, two both down. I think something like that. Anyway, as you can see, they're trying to run from a ball carrier, and there's nothing they can do. There you go. There's the, there's them down now. So I have I have the blood ball. There's a bit of a blood ball um, way of thinking going on now. I'm I can either just simply run that ball in, or I can do a bit of bashing before I do that. I'm actually going to go the bashing route. And I'm not going to re-roll that. We'll just push them to there. And we'll follow it up. And then we'll bite that thrall next to me. There you go. We're just going to do cheeky pushbacks and stuff. Oh, there's a knockout. Again, there's another pushback. Like I say, do some um, assaultings. Because it might work out. It might not. But I don't know what they can do with the ball carry over there anyway. This is just pushbacks. So it's not great. Let's just get a final vampire to blitz them here. And then it is... Just to push back. Can't pick the other one. There we go. And then all I'm going to do is move my thrall up to there. And then Sartosa is going to get in the back. 2 0. 2 0 to the Dark Bite. Excellent. Excellent. Fortune's turning around at the moment. So I'll skip all that. Looks like I've got one. Obviously, seriously injured. One badly hurt. One is knocked out, and the other one's got up. Excellent. They have. Two knocked out and two have got back up, as you can see, but they also had two on the bench anyway, so it's not really problematic. So we're just going to go for generic setup once more, and we'll accept that because we are now kicking the ball. They get first turn. However, they only have two turns to really score there. So there's a high kick, so they can put someone underneath it to try and catch it, which they've managed to do, and it'll be their thrower as well. Yes, it is. So they have um, four turns to get three 
three touchdowns. Don't know if they can do that. Not sure if they can do that or not. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, looks like they're pushing some of my thralls back here. And they're just obviously knocking them around the front. Looks like there's a good dodge going all the way through there. Now, we still can't, you know, get uh, complacent in this one. We really have to think about what's going to happen. Looks like I've not... Well, they've charged me but then failed their attack. Right. What I'm going to do then, I'm just going to crowd this ball carrier here with two thralls, and then I'm going to blitz it straight off with, I think, it's going to have to be Von Karstein. Von Karstein's going to come in here. Only one dice, though. What I'll do instead, then, I will move the other. I'll move Sartors around the side here, and then I will use Hypnotic Gaze, which has worked. You can hardly see it. There you go. See that? That means they are Hypnotic Gaze, which means they don't have a tackle zone, which also means that that blitz there is in our two dicer instead of a one dicer. Fantastic. Hypnotic Gaze is fantastically good if you use it right, and the result's fantastic. Defender down. We're going to push him further inland, and then there you go. The ball goes where roughly where I want it. So, excellent. Let's get a Vampire in here, and we'll get a Thrall. Uh... I really need to... I think I want to thrall around. Let's get a thrall around there, and we'll just start covering this side. We'll get another vampire. We'll get them inside here, just to gain some more strength advantage. And there we go, which means that's a two dice set, and then we'll start breaking this. There's a defender down. We're not going to follow up. Batter, excellent. And then that's a two dice set, and that's only a pushback, but we'll push him towards the vampire, not follow it up again, because I want another two vamp... I want the two thralls in here to keep this two dice hits going. Defender stumbles, and we'll push that up. And again, crowd the plate. I've done my one and only blitz, so I'm just going to get another Thrall up to this Vampire. Crowd that, and then we'll end that turn. Turn 13 for them. Looks like they've dodged their catcher out. Yeah, and they're running along now. Looks like they're going to try and pick that ball up, probably with a throw, which would make sense. Which would obviously make sense. Pick that up and then fling it. But I do have loads of Thralls here to get ready to catch it. They've picked it up, but had to use a reroll doing that, which is always good for me. They're just going to try and crowd the ball now. But again, keep putting pressure on them like I'm doing is good. Their person that's with Hypnotic Gazed has then run out and stood next to them and they're dodging out and around with another person there that is just a standard line woman so we're not really worried too much worried about there but uh, still could be a problem they're really knocking me out here using block and such I know I could have picked block when I leveled my other vampire up but I choose dodge over it yeah they're just gonna whack me there we go end of match imminent right so what am I gonna do well I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna crowd the crap out of this ball and um, weight of numbers, which is normally something you can't do as vampires. Uh, you don't really have. Well, uh, someone was on about the like how ablative the uh, you know how you're supposed to play vamp vampires because they're not really ablative. Well, the sort of are when you get them right. Let's just go for defender stumbles, and we'll pick their ball carrier to push them out the back. There we go. So their ball carrier is now out the back. We'll put a thrall. Uh, now what do we want to do? Let's stand the thrall up first, and then this vampire we will. Just stand next to their catcher, just because we can, because they're the closest to the end. That one is also in, but it needs a go for it. Two dice set. Here we go. I think there's a go for it roll involved, but we'll see. Uh, doesn't look like it. And it's only, again, defender stumbles, but we'll push them further back. Getting them towards their line is always good. There we go. And then this vampire is a two dice set. That's a bloodlust. I will re-roll it, because I've got nobody in there that can help me out. As you can see, there's no thrall in there that I could have bitten. Even if I pushed them to down there, I'd only go to where I am now. So that would not work out for me. I'm going to move this thrall just there. And then we will end that turn. And then see what they do. So they're going to keep running about. Looks like they're pushing me further back here. Hmm. Yep, yeah, just pushing me around. Just want to see if there's anything serious. They've only got three more turns, including this one, to do anything. There's someone that's really hurt. That's smashed collarbone, I think that said. That's not good. That's never a good thing. So that is, yeah, our groin strain. That's even worse than a smashed collarbone. I don't know. Some might argue that a collarbone is probably the worst because it's probably more painful, but uh, I think it's your point of view. I haven't, I've, I haven't had either. I haven't smashed my collarbone, nor had groin strain, so I wouldn't like to comment on that. I don't think I'd want that. I don't think I want either. They don't sound very nice, do they? Right, so they're just running their line woman about, but what I need to do really is get that ball off them. Can I do? Uh, 
Yeah, that's not working out for them. <laughs> right, so let's stand this Thrall up, and I think I will... That's a blitz, it's not really a good blitz. Let's just start of push, let's just push them about here. Get people off the vampires. And then I can just get this blitz in, which will be, do again, more dodges. Not dodges that I want either. Stand them up. And what else can I do? It's a cheeky one, Dicer. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think of a way that I can actually get this ball off them without it being a terribly, terribly risky business, but I don't know if that's actually possible. There's a, there's a, another bloodlust. Ah, well, we'll just pick that result. We'll go there. We're not going to follow up, and then we'll just bite that thrall there. Looks like I've did something really bad to them, and they re-rolled it. I'm guessing I killed one of them, and they've re-rolled it with their apothecary. Doesn't say what it is. Oh, God, look at my really badly hurt bit. <laughs> Three of them are out. Um, that's two dice they're choosing. I'm just going to pick that one there. And we'll push them back to there. And we'll just crowd it. We'll just crowd the ball. There's nothing else I really need to do. So we'll just crowd that up. And then we'll put a vampire in there. And then we'll get, use the thrall just to get a two dicer. There's a defender down and knocked out as well. Excellent. So they now only have a couple of turns to really do anything. I'm going to move a vampire to there. And then we'll end that turn. So they're on turn 15 of 16, which means they have to get that ball sunk relatively quick in order to even do... Well, I don't think that. I think that's pretty much it now. Even if they sink it now, they can't sink it next turn. So this game is in the bag, actually. Now that I think about it, we can't win. Uh, sorry, we can't lose. We can't lose. And they've just dropped the ball, which means I could even get another one. Maybe make this 3-0. That is That is possible. I'll have to do some really horrible antics here. Let's dodge out, pick the ball up. There we go. This is, like I say, my last turn here. So it's going to be a lot of rolls. So go to there. And then to fling the ball to him, which is a 3+, plus and then a 2+, plus, which is perfect result. I managed to do run out, dodge out. He's got the ball. Run the thrall up to there. And then... That's there just because we might bloodlust and then run the person in. Didn't bloodlust, so we only need a go for it roll and... 3-0. Oh, I cannot believe we did that. That's one of the things the vampires are just good at, just doing stuff like that. You know, because of the... Because they obviously have the strength and agility to do certain things, they can pull off just maneuvers that others can't. And there we go, we managed to dodge out a tackle zone, pick the ball up, go to someone else, fling it, fling the ball through the air, catch it, and then run it in. And then we're just going to escape both of that. And that's our generic setup. We'll accept that. They have one more turn of doing something. So it's not really anything I need to worry about. Apparently we've both just got a re-roll. I don't really care. They have one turn in which to win. To win, they need four touchdowns. They can't do that in one turn. They can get no touchdowns at all. Which means this is probably the best win I've had. Especially in this series anyway. So... They're going to keep running around, and I don't know what they're going to do. They're crowding the ball up. They're probably going to do a cheeky couple of hits at the front here. And um, there's a knockout. There we go. And, you know, that thrall, that thrall just went on his knees. No, no. Don't want to go the same way as him. He's just landed on where the, his friend's corpse was. Not corpse, because it's the one he just knocked out. Um, they're only going to run around now, and then that'll be it. But, yeah, that's a 3-0 victory to us there. And they've even failed to go for it all. Just as a little epitaph there. They just knocked themselves out and went down. End of match. 3-0 to the Dark Bite. That is a very, very, very good result. And hopefully that boards well for the continuing series. You've rolled a 6 for your winnings. So I've got 80 gold pieces. I'm not going to re-roll them. Fan factors increased a little bit. Got some money. Excellent. I could not have asked for a better game. 3-0, 80 grand, and some people have leveled up. Let's have a little quick look. Looks like Sartos has leveled up, so we will give them some skills. We will go to move up level. I will choose a skill, and it is going to be dodge. All of our vampires are getting dodge in the first instance for the first skill. Looks like we've got a Thrall, which is miss next game. That's what... Oh, that's Vassal. Oh, Crawl. Looks like Crawl. It was actually Crawl, our up-and-coming um, Thrall. That has actually got a groin strain, sadly. Oh, poor crawl. Obviously, Ivan as well is still sitting there with a good couple of skill points. Excellent. You see some thralls here. Five skill points, five skill points. We're getting some more thralls up. So, Pavel and Constantin. Something like that. 
Both with 5 skill points, others 13 skill points on Karstein. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, 1,230 team value. We have 90 gold pieces left. I'm going to buy an Apothecary for 40. I think, actually I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to buy, so I'm going to leave it there. And then I will have a think about that for the next game. Obviously next game, hopefully, it'll be something very similar to this one, as in a good win. And hopefully we'll do okay. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, and generic partings.